Move on uh, to this here. Um, oh, okay. I guess there was an interaction with, and this is going to bring us into a conversation about uh, trigger warning rape. Mm. Because uh -oh. I have opinions. To be clear, I'm anti right. it. Anti. Yes. It being rape. Correct. I'm against the raping. Oh boy. I guess this is set up to be a comedy bit. Is this the kind of thing that his audience enjoys? I, I never watched this guy. The only time I ever saw him was when Sam Cedar snuck onto his show to debate him. I just found the whole thing really juvenile. Didn't dig it. But all right, let's see what this is. We think it's... But here's an entitled woman. I, I, but, I, but I also don't always buy it. Like, believe all women. I believe some women. And there are some that I don't. Call me old-fashioned. Here's a woman in uh, Walmart who cut in line and then, of course, goes to uh, the psychotic rape card. I didn't touch you, I man. I raped not that long ago, and I can't stand another man touching me. Allegedly. Well, no one did that. <laughs> no one did that. <laughs> Is this a prank? <laughs> did, did the rapist run You're through a Weird Al lookalike convention? <laughs> I need a leave. No, no, no. I still got. I still got. Okay. She threw some of my stuff. <laughs> that's that's because she was raped, you jerk. <laughs> she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. To make it. Oh, I just asked her if she saw anyone in line. That's an adult. Just leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> For me, that's just not going to be a great um, area to start your comedy routine. I found that pretty hard to watch and listen to. Thank God that guy got out of there. I mean, I wish he had left earlier, but at least he got out of there. <laughs> you, know, you know there's some kid there who heard the scream, and he thought he passed by like one of those Halloween sensors at the display. He's like, why is he not doing it anymore? <laughs> like the skeleton. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> They're making it worse. I picture a man. And I remove all reason and accountability. <laughs> <laughs> That's what an adult does. You make your problems yes. everybody else's problems, including strangers. <laughs> Surprised she was wearing a mask. Yeah, was, no, I'm not. Not at all. Tip off, blue hair, mask, backpack. Totally sane. <laughs> look. Kids backpack. Look. Yes, kids backpack. <laughs> Can we all agree that rape is bad? Yes. I missed last month's yes. meeting. Are we still... We're still against yeah, the yeah, meeting. Meeting. That's right. Patriarchy you do need meeting. to pay your dues. Yeah. Um, also, we don't even like boobs and butts. We just hit the screw, oh, yeah. <laughs> screw with them. With people. <laughs> just these unrealistic beauty standards. We change them every week. So, look, <laughs> we're all against the rape, okay? Just to be clear. So, what I'm about to say is not an apologist for the, 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 the rapist, mm -mm. like that man at Walmart. Right. Clearly guilty of rape. Of course. As she insinuated. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Okay, look, there should never be a point in your life where you say a sentence that begins, I'm not being an, an apologist for rapist, but there, there's literally nothing you can say after the word but that is gonna end up being defensible or reasonable. I suspect he's gonna do some massive edge lording here and, and owning the libs by just saying ridiculous contemptible things. Understanding that rape is primarily uh, a, a, a crime of, I don't know, you're going to say it's a crime of power. Okay, get it. Well, whatever. Uh, it's primarily a crime of wanting to have sex with someone who doesn't want to have sex with you, and so you have sex with them anyway. Wouldn't it stand to reason that the victims of rape would usually, not always, generally be those who are most desirable sexually, considering the crime? Maybe like the fives to tens. I mean, like you don't carjack a 98 Oldsmobile. Uh, what can you say? There, there couldn't be a worse take there there will be nothing after this that's defensible this is uh you know this is the MAGA crowd this is hilarious to them and you know this is hardcore owning the libs reminds me of you know Donald Trump's stance with uh what's her name e. e. Jean Carroll a legal situation which continues to this day he basically said you know she's not she's not hot enough for me to rape let me find the original quote it was uh he said that she's not my type and I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. Uh, you know, in other words, she's just, there's no way she's hot enough for him to rape. Let me bring up this quote of, Trump said of the Bill Clinton affair with uh, Monica Lewinsky that, uh, you know, he once called Jones a loser and said, 
of the Lewinsky scandal that people would have been more forgiving if Clinton had slept with a, a really beautiful woman of sophistication. And what he said about Hillary Clinton running for office was, if Hillary <coughs> Clinton can't satisfy her husband, what makes her think she can satisfy America? This is the MAGA um, fuckability quotient that this is the worth of a woman is how hot she is. And if she's hot enough, she deserves to get raped. And our good buddy Jordan Peterson on the value of women in response to a, a larger woman um, posing for the swimsuit edition. Sorry, not beautiful. An, no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. I, Aside from that, just not, it literally doesn't make any sense. Author, authoritarian tolerance? Uh, okay, so what are you saying, Jordan, that she's not your type? So she's not beautiful. We all, this is so fucking stupid. Like, we all know beauty is a completely subjective thing. What he's basically whining about, get Jordan his feigning couch. He's whining that she's not hot enough, hot enough for him to beat off to. What's hilarious is after Jordan got a massive backlash on Twitter for just such a misogynistic, just idiotic thing to, to type, he's like, well, I'm just not going to be on Twitter anymore. I'm going to quit Twitter now. Because he couldn't take it. You know, his opinion is, is a value. Everybody else's is just garbage. No. <laughs> and this, and it's always ladies like that who are claiming they're raped. I've searched, and I could be wrong about this. Mm -hmm. There are many, right? How many times have I been to a change of my mind? It's always a blue-haired, would-be lesbian feminist who claim they're raped. As far as I know, not one Victoria's Secret model has been raped. And they have wings. <laughs> not one. <laughs> okay, so if we're keeping track so far, a person they've labeled a blue hair lesbian feminist is not rape worthy uh women that they subjectively would score a five to a ten or victoria's secret models those are rape worthy <laughs> what are the odds maybe, maybe they were gonna be victoria's secret model and then that's exactly it. and then the blue hair until came. someone lightly brushed their arm at walmart yeah and they gained 300 pounds because of it yep that's yes right. that's it's it. just i'm just saying it's always it's always and it's always a rape that's completely unverifiable right yeah and it's always used uh, for example to justify cutting in line right <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're just playing yeah, the odds game, right. you would think that, like, if, again, if a rapist horrible, but if I'm a rapist, and again, I'm not a rapist, I'm anti-rape, but if you've crossed over, you've crossed that threshold, you say, you know what, I don't care, I'm going to be a felon, I'm going to inflict violence upon a woman, I'm going to have sex with a woman who doesn't want to have sex with me back, so now the barrier to entry is removed, the woman doesn't want to have sex with you back, wouldn't you pick the one you most want to have sex with? <laughs> It stands to reason. You'd think there'd be like, you know, they'd like monitor someone like a Kate Upton, find out when her laundry day is, jump in the hamper. And instead, <laughs> apparently they're in the express. All right. The revised list of women worthy of rape are five to tens, uh, Kate Upton and Victoria's Secret models. Laying at Walmart looking for blue haired or uh, weird out lookalikes. Or Lena Dunham. Yes. That kind. Yeah. Well, that's also regretful sex. There's a difference between it's, rape it's different. Yeah. and regretful sex. Like mm -hmm. Lena Dunham said he regretted this. And there's a difference between rape and sexual assault. Yeah. Well, or a difference between rape and sexual harassment. Yeah. There are grades of this. And you know what? We've really just lumped it all in. And here we are now where a woman like this feels comfortable saying, I was raped. Therefore, I should have 19 grace items in the 12-item checkout lane. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I've never, I've never heard rape used as, as like you said, uh, an excuse for cutting in line. It seems like you kind of went a little farther. Maybe I have. I'm in a hurry or something <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah. I've heard it. But it happened to me. This? No. It happened to, yes, it happened to me. How? At the Piggly Wiggly. I was, I was, in the, I was like, hey, on. you have 19 Piggly items Wiggly. in the <laughs> checkout lane. And she said, rape, what are you going to do? I was like, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> she, gets, she gets a pass for all those trans fats in her basket. What do rape victims do with self-checkout? <laughs> That's what this was. This was self-checkout and she cut it that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. was it, it was self checkout, wasn't it? Yeah. Self checkout. Yeah. What was she yelling at? She was yelling at the checkout machine. Uh, no, she was yelling at the guy who was mad that she couldn't line. My point is this: uh, if I have to bet my bottom dollar, she probably wasn't. Look, it's it's just gross. Uh, this guy, he seemed to go out of his way twice to redefine rape as having sex with somebody who doesn't want to have sex with you. He did that twice. Also, you know, I don't think. Personally, I would never, I would never take it upon myself to try to uh, discern if a alleged rape was real or not. What's the end game to that? You know, what, what's, what are you hoping to get from that? Is there, is there a scorecard at the end where you win? Honestly, if 
if with, with zero facts at hand, you're better off having no opinion and then waiting um, to see what the facts are, if you, if you actually have any concern in the issue. Overall, this is just a uh, disgusting, uh, incomprehensible, and fucking gross.